Turning to sports, Wednesday night in the NBA playoffs, Moses Malone and Julius Irving combined for 50 points as the Philadelphia 76ers defeated the Washington Bullets 104-97. The 76ers led in the second quarter and took a seven-point advantage to the Lockers at halftime. The Bullets fought back to tie the game at 76 at the end of the third quarter, but with four minutes left in the game, Philadelphia ran off seven straight points and went ahead to stay. In National League Baseball, the New York Mets mugged five Pirate pitchers for 13 hits to beat Pittsburgh 10-6. Daryl Strawberry and Rafael Santana each had a homer, a double, and three RBIs for the Mets. Also in the National League, the Expos edged the Cardinals, the Dodgers defeated the Astros, the Cubs beat the Phillies, and the Reds beat the Braves. In the American League, it was the Royals over the Red Sox, the Angels over the Twins, and the Brewers over the Tigers. The Orioles beat the Indians. Jesse Barfield's three-run homer in the bottom of the 10th got the Blue Jays past the Rangers, and the A's defeated the Mariners. <laughs> which are leaving enormous numbers of people unemployed uh, with very little hope to be retrained, to be put back into the workforce. Actor David Sowell was arrested and jailed while protesting for unemployed steel workers. He'll tell us why he has taken their protest against management as his own. I think by the year 2010, you can literally have a trillion dollar economy being generated by space-based industries. A trillion dollar economy is the 1984 equivalent of 35 million jobs that do not exist today. Enterprise in space. A congressman talks, not about a starship, but about exploring multi-million dollar space industries. Representative Robert Walker is here as part of our continuing series, Sometimes a Great Notion. Good morning, I'm Charlie Rose in Washington. Welcome back to the CBS News Night Watch. We begin this hour with the latest news. Lark McCarthy is in the newsroom. Lark. Good morning. A takeover bid for CBS is expected to be launched today. A Federal Communications Commission spokesperson said Wednesday night that lawyers for Ted Turner will file papers today amounting to a proposed attempt to buy CBS. In Chicago Wednesday at the CBS shareholders meeting, board chairman Thomas Wyman said CBS will resist any takeover bid. The number of confirmed salmonella cases has gone beyond 7,000 in six Midwestern states. Health authorities have definitely linked one death to milk tainted with the bacteria. Investigators have eliminated sabotage and packaging problems in their ongoing search for the source of the salmonella. In Florida, federal authorities have declared an agricultural emergency. The reason? Three Mediterranean fruit flies, which were recently found north of Miami. The insects can devastate fruit and vegetable crops. The emergency declaration means federal money and personnel can be used to combat the med flies. The theft of cookies has led law officers to a rock quarry in the Ozarks in their search for fugitive David Tate. Tate, a member of a militant right-wing group, is wanted for the murder of a Missouri state trooper on Monday. Another member of that militant group was picked up by the F by FBI agents in Philadelphia on Wednesday. William Anthony Nash was among 23 members of the group called The Order, indicted this week by a federal grand jury. It could be the closest congressional race this century. A county-by-county -county check of ballots in a disputed Indiana race shows incumbent Democrat Frank McCloskey finished three votes ahead of his Republican opponent, Rick McIntyre. Results won't be final, though, until it's decided what to do with the ballots set aside as questionable in Indiana's 8th district. They are evenly split between the candidates. 